hello. So I get asked a lot just on like what cleaning products I recommend. So whilst I've got it all here in a little cleaning caddy, I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna talk through all my favorite cleaning products at the moment. Um, it does kind of change because I feel like I like to try new cleaning products, but this is at the moment the ones I'm using. So first things first, I'm gonna get this one out of the way because it's just massive. This, I get asked about a lot in my videos and it's basically, I got it from Amazon. I'll, I'll try and link as much as I can in the description, by the way. Basically, it's a big brush and the charger's can and it's dead. So I need to charge it. But basically, it's like an electric brush, so like this bit spins round. Really good for like cleaning tiles and stuff like that. But that's really annoying that it's dead. I need to charge it. It doesn't, it does actually last a long time. So I'm even thinking now, where is the charger? Because it lasts for ages, but I have charged it before, so it is somewhere. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this and it's on Amazon. It also comes with different attachments. So it comes with this attachment. It comes with a few, but these are just the two that I have at the moment so yeah to change it you literally just take it off and then you can add a new one okay now next talking on electric brushes we have this so this one should be working yeah it's basically like an electric toothbrush but it's actually a cleaning brush um now small disclaimer i actually watched home with ruse videos and she does amazing cleaning videos by the way so everyone go and check her out i'll pop her in the description but she uses this on her black taps and it scrubbed the matte black off so we've got matte black taps it's maybe not the best but i just have like silver taps so this is so good like you know them bits on i actually get excited about this because it's just so good try and add a clip on what i mean but like you know when you just get like around taps like you just get that little bit of dirt and it's so hard to get into this honestly even like a sink like the sink drain when it just gets dirt around and you can't get into it this is so good like you don't even need products like you just literally like turn it on and put it around the tap and it just gets dirt away off so quickly so this one is actually the pink stuff and i got it from b m however you can get them on amazon and i think you can just get like own brand ones like they're quite easy to get so yeah highly recommend this next i'm gonna talk through all the gadgets first this is so good so i used to have the dishmatic one and i still really like that but I'm just obsessed. Actually, let me get this one out as well. I am obsessed with scrub daddy sponges. Like, honestly, they're just so good. <laughs> they are quite hard. Like, I bet you can probably hear it. They're quite hard. They don't scratch. So it's so good on, like, pans. I, I, we use it um, when we're washing up, like, pans. It's good on, like, greasy pans. It's good on, um, I actually use it on the shower screen because it just like scrubs and just gets everything off. I don't know how to describe it. So yeah, I highly recommend these. So because I love this, I got this because you can actually get an attachment as well that you can add the scrub daddy sponge onto it, but I don't have that. I just have this one, but I mean, it's just as good. So th because this is a scrub daddy brand, it's basically the same sponge. Can you see that? Tiny bit of washing up liquid and water and then you just scrub away and it's just so much quicker because it's all in one place so i'll use this in the kitchen then i tend to use this in the bathrooms i used to use this in the bathroom as well and have a different one for the bathroom but now i just use this because it's a lot easier and quicker i don't use it on the toilet but yeah i use it on like the sinks the bath and the shower screen it's really good so next is this i don't always use this but it's very good to have so you can get them on Amazon. Basically, it's a drain brush. So for ages in the shower at once, it just, the water wasn't going down. I was using every single drain blocker product and the water was not going down. So one day I was like, I'm just going to get one of these because what I've got to lose, I've tried everything else. Oh, no, it was disgusting. I was not prepared for what was going to come out. I actually filmed it and I've got it on TikTok somewhere. But no, it was disgusting. So if your drain is blocked, then my friend used it as well and her drain was blocked and the same thing happened. I think if you're a girl and, you, and your drain is blocked, it's probably because you've got loads of hair down there. So this is, it is disgusting. Basically, I put this down and so much hair come out. Like, honestly, it made me heave. It looked like a rat or something was down there. Like, so... Uh, no, I can still vision it like it was just like clumps of hair. So yeah, ever since I've always used this, but now I've got the main bit of hair out. I don't really get that much hair that comes out now of it because obviously I'm regularly doing it. But yeah, this is good if you've got a block drain. Okay, so I'm still gonna carry on with gadgets because I feel like I have quite a few and honestly, I just feel like if you've got a good gadget, it's life changing. So 
Next is a shower squeegee. This is so good for like just cleaning your shower. There is a curved shower in one of our bathrooms, which is a little bit more of a pain to clean. And you can't use this, but if you've got like straight screen, this is perfect. Uh, but yeah, shower squeegee, perfect. Next we have this. So basically a little comb and then this kind of comb. If you have pets, this is the best thing ever. So we have a cat and obviously, I don't even feel like you notice the cat hair, but when you clean the carpet with this, it's disgusting, like so much cat hair comes up. I mainly use it on the stairs because I feel like for an actual whole carpet, obviously it's quite small for a big carpet, like you're probably, you're probably better with a vacuum, but this on the stairs is just a lot quicker and so much comes up from it. Like even sometimes like I've hoovered and then I'll use this and more comes up from this. So it's really good. It's just like a really fine comb. Got it on Amazon. They also do it on TikTok shop I've seen, but this one is from Amazon. Next we have this. It looks very random. It's just one of those magic, can you see? Mm. It's one of those magic erasers and it's just really good. Like we have a lot of white walls. You basically just wet it and then like scrub across and it's really good. So a little magic eraser. Also, it's really good on white trainers. If you've got white trainers, these are great. Next. Now, I feel like you're probably gonna be like, what the hell is that doing in a little cleaning caddy? But basically, these cocktail sticks are so good at like, you know, little fine areas. So for example, where our hob is, it's like raised and like crumbs can get underneath this. So I usually, We'll wrap it in kitchen roll and then just like scrape along it and it gets all the dirt out. Little fine things that need cleaning. These are great at. Um, so I have them. So this is the Scrub Daddy Damp Duster. Now this is always sold out. So if you can find one in the supermarket, get it. Because they like it's very popular on TikTok. So it's hard now. And basically you just wash it and it goes soft. And when it's soft, you just like glide it along like shelves and like anywhere you want to dust. And these little lines just trap all the dust. So honestly, it's quite shocking when you when you go along it. You get so much like dust in the middle. So you're really good at cleaning things that are dusty like shelves. Talking of that, I do also have the Minky Duster Cloth, which is really good at just picking up loads of dust. They actually say that these are designed to get rid of the dust anyway. So you don't necessarily need like a dust spray. So sometimes I will just go in with a cloth and I won't bother to like spray it with a duster. Um, what they, what's it even called? Like, just a dust spray. Then this is just a cloth. There's not really much to say about it, but it's just handy to have. Obviously, you always need a cloth. Always get my cloths from Minky. I just feel like they have the best cloths. So, and they also like will have a cloth for different things. And I just feel like sometimes it just makes the difference. But yeah, I'll try and leave links anyway. Then this is their new one, and it's just like an absorber. So it's really good at like drying. So I use this a lot when I'm drying things. You know, like, if I've like washed the bath or whatever and I just want to go over it just so there's no watermarks, this is good for that. Now, this is my favourite cloth of all time. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you probably already know this. This is the, I've got two here. Um, I probably have about five. I always buy a new one. Not that I need to buy a new one. I just always like to have more than one. So it's the window and glass cloth. And obviously it's great on like mirrors, glass, windows because it doesn't leave like a mark and it's just so good you know when you're, you're cleaning and then you'll like go over with a cloth and then you just have bits of fiber from the cloth on where you've just cleaned and it's like i've just cleaned that why have i cleaned it because now i've got like bits from the cloth this just doesn't do that i also sometimes just use it as a drying cloth because it just doesn't get those bits of fabric everywhere well, obviously i use this one but if I've got this one spare, I'll just use this. This is why I always like to have more than one. Then I also have this. I use this cloth for the bathrooms. So it's really good because it's got this bit that cleans. I hope I'm saying this right. This this is how I do it anyway. So this bit I like use to clean. And then this bit I'll use to dry. So it's really good because it's just all in one cloth. I have cleaning gloves. I'm not going to lie. I don't always use these because I just... I hate them on my, thing, on my hands. If I'm cleaning something that's disgusting, I'll use these. Okay, so now I'm moving on to actual cleaning products. So first up, we have this. This is the Pink Stuff Miracle Cleaning Paste. You've probably seen it a lot online. Like just the paste. So this is really good at like cleaning grout or like anything that's like really dirty. It's like an oven. I've used it before on like pans, you know, at the bottom when they just get all burnt. So if there's something that's really tough and like 
really dirty. I'll use this. Not gonna lie, it does leave a residue that's really hard to get rid of. So I only really ever use this if I need to. So obviously if I was doing the oven, I'd use this. But on day to day, when I'm just cleaning like around the house, I won't use this. It, it says here, tough on stains. It actually is really tough on stains. Like if you've got a mark, this will get it out. But yeah, I just feel like it leaves like a bit of a pasty kind of, I don't know, it just leaves a bit of a residue. So don't always use this. Or if I do, I'll then go over with something else just to clean it properly because yeah, I only really use this if I need to. Next, just a standard toilet cleaner. Not gonna lie, I kind of don't really have a preference of toilet cleaner, I just obviously have one. So next I have the Miracle Window and Glass Cleaner from The Pink Stuff as well. Um, This is really good, but I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to window and glass cleaner, I actually feel like you can use any just as long as you've got this cloth. Like this cloth is the game changer. You could use any window and glass cleaner. Obviously I do really like the pink stuff one, but I just think it's this cloth. That so next up we have this flash bathroom cleaner. Now I actually used to use the pink stuff bathroom cleaner. And once again, I kind of feel like I don't really have a preference of bathroom cleaner, but I'm using this one at the moment and I really like it. With the bathroom, obviously you can kind of just use any disinfectant spray, but I do always recommend getting one that's specifically for the bathroom because it's designed more to tackle like soap scum. So yeah, this is the one I'm using at the moment. Um, then normal like disinfectant spray. This one, the Apple Blossom Flash, my favorite. It smells unreal. Like if you want your house to smell nice, it just smells clean. So. I love this one. If you want like a nice smelling one. So Apple Blossom by Flash. Then we've got Febreze fabric. Just great to add like, you know, in your living room or like your bedroom once you've cleaned it. Just great to little add and it stays on um, furniture. So yeah, this one's good. Um, then Zaflora. I love Zaflora. It's great for like, if you're cleaning the floors and like just adding it in or like, if you wanna like clean your drains, like I just love Flora and they have really nice scents. So this one is vanilla and amber. There's a garden one that I use a lot that's really nice, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, they just do really nice like disinfectant, um, multi-purpose things that are just good for like, yeah, just kind of cleaning. Also, if you didn't have a spray, it's good to just like kind of use this. Yeah, you just add it to water and literally spray it anywhere. Then lastly, we have floor wipes. So I do use a mop and I use this flash Swiffer pad, which you've probably seen before. It's just kind of like you put a wipe over the, the um, Swiffer and just like clean. Do really recommend them. However, things like the bathroom, I feel like there's not a lot of floor space. So I use floor wipes for the bathrooms purely just out of ease. I do actually sometimes just use a basic disinfectant wipe, but for recently I invested in floor wipes. So yeah. That is everything. I would recommend getting a caddy because it's just easier, especially like with room to room. Two more products that I actually do recommend as well, but I don't have at the moment, is bicarbonate of soda and white vinegar. So these together are just great. Bicarbonate of soda is great for like scrubbing tiles or like worktop surfaces, like especially in the kitchen, like if there's a mark, if you just get a little bit of bicarbonate of soda and scrub on it, it'll go, which is great. My mum taught me that trick. Um, and also, yeah, just white vinegar is good. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. And please also leave in the comments anything else you wanna know. And yeah, thanks for watching and thanks to everyone who's subscribing.